Hi everybody, it is Nat from Studio Hacks here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create chords in GarageBand. We're going to be using software instruments to make these chords, and it's a really great place to start when you're creating a new track or you're looking for inspiration for some new ideas. I'm going to show you some really good uh, methods for creating chords. You don't need a MIDI keyboard or anything. You can just be straight on your laptop or your desktop. So this is actually a Mac um, tutorial for this one. So this is a brand new GarageBand session with no tracks on it. And I'm going to select software instrument and hit create. It's going to give us the default electric piano. So what I want to do is I want to basically um, create a chord on this track. So first of all, I need a MIDI region. And if I right click anywhere on this track and create empty MIDI region, it's going to give me a little one bar block here. And this is like the blank canvas that we're going to um, build our chord in. I want my loop to be uh, two bars long. So I'm going to go down the bottom half of this region and just drag this out to be two bars long. I'm also going to pop this cycle region on, which is this little uh, thing here. You can use the C key as a shortcut. And I'm going to make sure that the cycle region is also looping over two bars. Now I want to double click on this uh, empty MIDI region and it should give me a piano roll down the bottom in the editor. If you want to open the editor and close it at any time, you can use these scissors right here. And then when I hit my uh, Apple key, you'll notice that the mouse pointer turns into a pen and I can start drawing in notes. So I'm going to make a simple C minor chord. And if you don't know much about music theory, don't worry too much. You can just use your ears, a so minor chord. So I'm just going to see these notes here. There's a C, C2, C3, C4. And every note in between is a, is a letter of the alphabet. And then it resets at G. So you go C, D, E, F, G. And then it goes back to A, B, C. And the black notes are the flats and the sharps. So let's just... Um, if, you, if I lost you there, don't worry too much. Just uh, we're going to make a note here by making sure that the pen is there and clicking. We can drag this note up and down. So you can hear that that's I'm going to start looping that. That's actually a simple minor chord. If I drag this middle note up. It'll be a major chord. It'll sound happy. I'm going to switch this metronome off right up here for the moment. So I want a minor chord and I'm going to add a, th a, four, a fourth note. So you can drag these notes around. I'm going to add one lower note down here. So this can be a fun experiment with your ears just until you find a nice sounding chord. Okay, now I want to add some um, a different sound to this chord and I want to add some rhythm into it so we can start sort of building a track. This will work for any genre of music, whether you're making hip hop beats, electronic dance music, singer songwriter music, it doesn't matter. Chords are a great way um, to start a track. So I'm going to go over to the library, which is over here. And if you can't see the library, um, just click on this little icon here to open and close it. I'm going to grab a synth synth sound. Um, let's go the classics. I always like Dream Dancer. Let's have a listen to that. So it's a bit of a stab sort of um, EDM stab. And now you'll notice on the smart controls down the bottom. So this the smart controls is this icon here. Um, if you go all the way to the right hand corner, you've got this little arpeggiator which will create rhythm and movement. And from here, you can experiment with all these presets. I'm going to try these simple chord grooves. Let's try simple chord groove four. You can change these on the fly. Okay, I like that. 
So now I'm going to make this a bit of a longer loop. I'm going to make it a four bar loop and I'm going to draw in some more notes. So let's go double click on that again. So we can uh, copy and paste these notes here and just drag the chord up. So that's a little bit high. And then I'm going to make these all these chords shorter here. So it's just a one bar. I'm going to copy it again and paste it here. I'm going to drag it up two more notes. So that's a nice little uh, chord progression there. And from here, we can start building a track really easily. If we create a new track by hitting the plus here, and add a drummer track in, I'm going to give this a bit of an EDM house kind of uh, vibe. So let's go to uh, electronic on the library here. And the drummer tracks create automatic drum beats for you. Um, let's try modern house, see how that works out. Let's try big room EDM. I'm going to go through these till I find something I like a bit better. That'll do for the moment. So we've got a drum beat. We've got some chords. Let's add, uh, let's add some bass in. So let's hit plus, create another software instrument track. And there are some pre uh, preset loadouts that give you kind of rhythm and movement like we've created here with these chords. Um, and they, they can be found under synthesizer. Let's go synthesizer and under rhythmic you'll see that we have some uh, bass rhythms here. I'm going to try this hypnotic synth bass. And what I'm going to do for this one is instead of drawing in a bass line, I'm going to copy this chord pattern from the top and then select this track. I'm going to hit Command C to copy it. I'm going to select this track and hit Command V. I'll drag that there so it's in the right point. Now I'm going to edit this one and just remove all the high notes and just keep that bass note. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. Okay, so I think that that bass sound could sound a bit better. So I'm going to open the smart controls with this icon here. I think B is the, yep, B is the shortcut. And I'm gonna muck around on this transform pad for this sound, we can edit the sound of the bass. Okay, let's try this full. I might make that note an octave lower so I can drag this down. Okay, so that's a nice little start to a song there. And then we can start building, you know, further things. We can start singing over this. We can create lead lines. We can do whatever we want. So you can see that creating chords with that arpeggiator and just drawing them in is a really easy way to start building a track from scratch in GarageBand. And, you know, you can easily build a finished track in an hour or two uh, this way and then just start adding extra sections on here until your songs, you know, somewhere between two to four minutes. 
um, or as long as you like really it's totally up to you you can you can be creative so I hope you've enjoyed this video make sure if you find this content valuable that you subscribe to the channel and uh, drop a comment in the comment section if there's any topic you'd like me to cover and I'll do a video just for you thank you and I'll see you in the next video Thank you.